Aries, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is reading for uh, mid-October. And uh, yeah, if you like this reading, um, I'd like if I'd like it if you would please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you would like to. Um, and yeah, I really would appreciate that actually because a lot of people aren't seeing my notifications. I don't know why. So if you could do that, that would make a big difference. Um, and yeah, if if you'd like to support this channel, there are ways you can do that in the description as well. If you'd like to, thank you very much. And uh, right, so I'm just going to start this reading. No more of that. Um, so yeah, the first card you've got for your past is the Six of Pentacles, right? Um, yeah, this just looking over this whole spread, this looks like a real Aries reading. It's it's really dynamic. Lots of things are happening. Um, you know, you've got this Emperor right here, and and my eyes going right down to that Ace of Pentacles, which obviously. So um, that's a fantastic card, and I think everything is going to accumulate down there if that makes sense it feels like that is the center of uh the spread usually the card in the middle is but the ace of pentacles is such a strong card so i'm really really feeling that that and the emperor stand out to me as as the important cards here so yeah real aries reading fantastic reading this is going to be a big reading i think um, yeah, so there's lots of determination here. You've got, you know, with the Emperor and with the Chariot here, lots and lots of determination. Um, I'm getting a big realisation, actually. Um, yeah, because with this with the Six of Pentacles, it's like um, give and take, a bit of unfairness, unbalance or imbalance, I should say, when it comes to giving and taking. So I think you've had a realisation about giving to someone, not just one person. There is one particular person here. But I think for a lot of, I think, you know, for a lot of people, you've given and given and given to a lot of people. And I think you've had the realisation that, um, okay, I, I think I've been giving to the wrong people. Um, you know, so you've given your energy to a lot of people in the past. You've given your resources to a lot of people in the past. I think you might have even given money to people or things or helped them, material things. And um, yeah, time, energy, definitely energy. And um yeah, of course, some of these people are fine. They deserved that. And you're a very generous person, but some of them didn't deserve that. So I think now what's happening with you is it's it's very, it feels like a clearing of that old energy. You're like, no, I don't want any more of that around me. I don't want anyone around me who takes. I don't want anyone around me who's negative. I'm pushing forward now. I think you know that you're going towards something you're trying to achieve with this Ace of Pentacles that I keep on looking at down here. So you know, you're, you're eliminating all those old, old energies um, and, and anyone that isn't with you, anyone that's really entitled, they're happy to take, but they're not happy to give to you. You're, you're eliminating, literally eliminating a lot of those people. You know, I, I think I think you might even be blocking them, just getting rid of a lot of people. I know that sounds very blunt, but I think that's how Aries operate. They're like, no, once it's done, it's done. Once I've finished with someone, once someone does something, um, that I really, really, really don't like. I don't want that around me. So I'm getting a lot of that and it, it's quite brutal, um, but I think for you it's important. It's an important thing to go through. That There's a very, very entitled person here. I think I'm seeing one very entitled person um, and there was, a, there was a lot of guilt around this. I think you gave to them a couple of times because I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the two of pentacles as well. And, and so I think with this person, you had a little bit of backwards and forwards. It's like, oh, should I give to them? I feel a bit guilty. I don't know if that's what I should do. I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to give them my time, my energy, or even my money, it might be. Um, but I, I feel a bit guilty if I don't do that. And so I think what happened at one time is I think you gave to them out of guilt and then, you know, I, I think you just realise, no, it's, it, it's not changing the situation. It's not changing them. You know, their attitude needs to change for them to change their life. That, that's what I'm getting. And me giving to them isn't helping them at all. I think you realise that. But what I'm really picking up with this individual is uh, their attitude. You know, their attitude's not changing. I don't think it's changed even now. Um, expect a little... Yeah, I'm seeing a family member here. So expect a little bit of back talk a bit of backbiting you know because that, that I think you know now that you're kind of saying no to them or you're putting your foot down and you're kind of having this um, revelation about people that they're not going to like this very much they might talk to other family members they might say things to people so so watch out for that watch out for that happening I'm seeing a little bit of that happening around you 
Um, so yeah, th and, and, and that's why you're going through this process of um, eliminating people, literally, <laughs> because you're going toward this Ace of Pentacles. You're going towards something really huge in your life and, and you can't have all these people dragging you down, holding you back, being negative and all that kind of thing, you know, because you're moving up to this huge thing. Um, so, okay, so I'm getting something really interesting here as well, just with this Two of Pentacles. I'm getting these, okay, I'm getting a couple of things here. So I'll just, I'll just start with the first thing. There are two halves in your life. This is what I'm getting. And I've, I've had this before with you, with Aries. I think I've seen this before. Two distinct halves in your life. Now, there's the time of your past. There was a lot of negativity in your past and positivity, but, but I think you remember a lot of the negative times. And I think now you've moved on from that past. So you see your life as a time before you moved on and a time after you moved on. That, that's what I'm getting very, very distinctively for someone. But in your head and in your heart, you keep on going a little bit backwards and forwards like this two of pentacles. You're like, oh, I'm still remembering my past, but I'm better than that. I've moved on from that now, but oh, now I go back again. Now I've moved on from that. So I think a part of you goes back to your past because there's a little bit of, um, there is a little bit of comfort in your past actually, because there's that familiarity there. But then there's a discomfort there as well and then you go back to your present and, and you really feel like no I moved on I'm different from the way I was and you have you absolutely have so I've got that kind of backwards and forwards between the past and the present and the discomfort and all that kind of thing and, and so part of you rejects that past and you're in the now but then then you go back there in your head and, and there's comfort back there as well so it's a very difficult backwards and forwards that, that goes on with you. That, that's kind of what I'm getting. Now, with that, in the background of that, what I'm seeing here is there is someone from your past who's going to come back to you. I'm seeing that quite clearly here. Now, they're from way, 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 way back in your past. <laughs> this is someone who goes way back. Now, there's a little bit of, I'm getting a little bit of immaturity here. So it might be that you're both very young or it might just be that you had a quite an immature kind of um, relationship, uh, connection, you're quite immature, because I'm seeing lots of, I'm actually getting lots of name calling jokes, things like that, very, very immature, immature arguments as well, immature clashes. And you can see behind this man in the Two of Pentacles, you've got these two ships behind him that are about to clash or crash together, and that's behind him. So that's all what happened in your past with this person, there was a clash very very immature what i'm getting here is they've, they've grown up a lot they've changed a lot and you both have and i think when they come back and you do meet up with this person again and i, I think you will you'll, you'll realize that you're both very different in a lot of ways but you're both the same in a lot of ways it's a very very interesting thing that's going to happen uh, and i really think what's going to happen is it's going to make you feel a lot more comfortable um, with these two parts of your life. So I really hope that makes sense to someone because that's a really big, huge, it feels it feels like it's not such a big thing. It sounds not so big, someone's coming from your past. And, but no, for you, it's going to merge for you in your heart and in your mind, these two sections of your life. This is a really, really big reading. And, and the pinnacle of this is, I, I keep on seeing this with this Ace of Pentacles is, you're going to have this past and present merging together along with this person coming into your life um, and this is an important person in your life I can see that this is going to be a very important person in your life and then you've got this this big thing that you're working toward or this big ambition that you've got that's in the ace of pentacles as well and that's all happening at the same time as well very very interesting so you've got three things three things coming in together um, with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. I haven't seen this with anyone before. Um, okay, so... Right, so I, I'm just going to go on with this Queen of Wands now because there's so much here. This is a massive, massive reading. Right, so with this Queen of Wands, I'm getting a really open, really, really honest conversation here and I think this is about this person who's coming back into your life. 
um, very open, very honest. Because if you look at this queen, she's looking at us right in the eye. You know, she's facing us. No other queen does that. So she's facing right at us. I love this queen. That, that's what I love about this queen. So I think what's going to happen is you're going to see this person. You're going to connect with them again. Um, and then what's going to happen is you're, you're going, you've got this big clash. It, it's almost like the elephant in the room, actually. And it's around the two of you. And you're going to have to clear that out of the way for you to get together properly. That, that's what I'm seeing. Because um, I keep on getting this clearing the air, clearing people out of the way, clearing everything out of the way, negative energy. And this is another bit of negative energy, this elephant in the room, this clash that you had with this person that you're going to have to clear out of the way. So I'm literally getting here, um, oh, we need to talk. We need to talk about this. We've got to talk about this. We can't go any further until we get whatever this thing is out of the way. So it, it's like a big block that needs to be moved um, out of the way before you can actually move down this path with this person. So yeah, this is what's going to happen. You're sorting through people. You're going to sort through this when this person comes into your life. I have to tell you this. This is someone who you want to bring with you. This, you're clearing a lot of people out of your life to, um, who, who aren't right to come with you. This person is right to come with you. They're absolutely right to come with you. And, and what I'm getting is they've got this really beautiful balance of familiarity in your past. It's like they already know you. You don't have to pretend. You don't have to do this. You don't have to say, oh, I'm this or I'm that. They know you. They already know you. They know you really, really well. Um, and, and they're getting to know the new you and you're getting to know the new them. Very, very beautiful energy. And this can lead into love. This can lead into a stable relationship if that's something you choose with this person. Absolutely beautiful. There's, there's so much closeness here and that's because you're familiar with them. And I think if, if you're single, I think you've been looking for someone in this present half of your life because you've left the old half behind. You've left the old behind and you're like, I don't want to go back there. I don't want anyone back there. I don't want to know anything that came from back there. And you've rejected all of that. Um, and you know, you're looking for someone here, but you feel unfamiliar. You feel disconnected. You don't feel right with anyone in this part of your life because this person is here for you. This person who knows you, so you're going to get that comfort, that familiarity with them, plus you're going to get to know them all over again. So it's absolutely beautiful. And they're very, very honest, very, very honest. And, and you're going to talk about this thing and get it out of the way. But they're not going to squirt around this thing. They're not going to squirt around this thing. They want to get it out of the way. Um, right, so the first card you've got here present is uh, this emperor, which is obviously fantastic for you. Aries, super determined. So here we have this thing. You're very, very, very determined. And you're going to go toward this thing you've always wanted, this ambition. I've seen this before in your readings. I've seen you come close to this before. This time it's happening. And it's because you're going to be more comfortable in yourself because of your past and your present merging together. And that's what's going to give that feeling of, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this now. I'm comfortable in myself now. I've had lots of negative talk. I'm seeing this in your past. Lots of negative talk. I've got someone who's quite authoritative in your past with this emperor who used to tell you, you'll never be anything. You'll never do anything. I'm literally seeing those words for someone. You'll never be anything. That is wrong. That is wrong. And I think you took a lot of that past energy with you, those words with you into your present from your past. Um, and, and they're going to start fading away as you become more comfortable, as these two points in your life merge. This is an absolutely super strong, fantastic reading, I have to say. I, I love this reading. So, yeah, you're heading toward this thing. Now, now, what I'm getting with this ambition that you've got is I've got some kind of moving or traveling with this and you've got you know the, the chariot right here so um it it doesn't feel like you're moving permanently to somewhere but it feels like you're going to have to move um for a short time to fulfill this ambition now the other thing i'm getting with this ambition is this might help you to realize what this is there's something you've already done with this it, it feels like some kind of um it might be a qualification 
it might be some kind of uh, formal license, it might be something you had that you achieved formally, a and you thought that you're going to have to go, um, you, you thought that you were going to go farther and you didn't do that. A and what happened is you took a completely different path when you realised, no, I'm not going to be able to do this, I'm going to take a different path. But even though you took that different path, this ambition has always been on your mind anyway. It's not going to go away. You've got that core there. You've got the core of the emperor there. You've got the core of this determination. Um, you're going to go back on this path. This is what this is telling me. And you're going to do this thing. And it requires some kind of, um, you know, not permanent travel, but a little bit of travel. That, that's what I'm getting. So, yeah, you're going toward that. All the negative self-talk that this person gave you is going to fade away. Um, firstly, because you've got this determined core inside you of the emperor. Um, it's almost like you've had this, right, I want to do this, I want to do this, and then you've had this self-talk, no, you can't do this, no, you can't do this. It's like you've had this, these two people arguing inside you. <laughs> and and now, now that negative talk is going to be cleared away with all the negative energy, and you're going to be left with that core of the emperor. Absolutely fantastic. So you are going to do this. Um, I hope you know what this is. <laughs> I hope this is you, because this is all coming at the right time. This is all coming at the right time. Okay, so so with this Knight of Cups, um, yeah, it feels slightly awkward actually. So so this is when you reconnect with this past person. This is when they come in and you can see this. It's a possible love connection. It can turn into love. This is a love offer. Um, and again, you've got the Ace of Pentacles down here, which is a, a stable love offer. And you've got the lovers next to that. So this is something that can grow into love. Um, and I really, really would advise you to let this happen if, if this is you. So, yeah, a little bit of awkwardness when you first meet again or get together again or talk again. Um, and, and, yeah, I keep on getting this immature energy, this kind of... Uh, it, it feels like wordplay, immature wordplay. I'm seeing this again because I'm looking at this Two of Pentacles again next to this. Up and down, funny wordplay, uh, calling each other... Oh, there's a motorbike. Calling each other names... So you might have had silly names for each other, things like that. It's something like that. So it might be, yes, thanks for that. It might be that you are actually very young because I can see this going back quite far or it might just be that you're immature. So you still have a little bit of that immaturity in you, I have to say, but it's a bit of fun. Aries have that bit of fun. So you've still both got that. You've still both got that sense of fun, but you've moved on from that as well. You're, you're very, very similar in a lot of ways. Very, 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 very similar. So so what I'm getting here with this Knight of Cups is they'll probably come in and approach you first. That's what I'm seeing now. And yeah, the conversations are going to start out being a little bit awkward with this Two of Pentacles here. He looks very awkward, but um, yeah, they'll, they'll start off like that. I think you'll, I, I think you'll end up having very, very comfortable conversations after that. And then what I'm seeing is um, this clash is going to come up. Whatever that clash was between you, whatever that problem was between you, that's going to come up and then they're going to want to clear the air and they're going to want to talk about that. And once that's out of the way, I'm seeing you getting quite close. Quite close. Absolutely beautiful. Closer to that Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, with this Ace of Pentacles, absolutely fantastic. Again, this is where everything comes together in your life. You've got this person coming back. You've got this ambition that you're going toward. There's there's literal travel to that. Again, you're not moving to somewhere. You're not moving permanently. It feels like short-term travel um, to enable you to do something. Um, and uh, yeah, the two halves of your life feeling more comfortable and feeling more at ease in yourself because of that. And this person that comes back once again, they're going to help you to get that sense of ease because they're going to help you to merge those two uh, parts of your life. I really, really hope this is making sense to someone. Um, okay, so right before this happens, right before this comes up, right before you say, okay, I, I can see this in front of me, I'm going to do this now. This is going to happen. I can see the path opening up in front of me. It, I'm ready to go forward into this path. I'm ready to do this ambition. I'm ready to do this thing. Right before that happens, just, just prepare for this. There's a little bit more confusion that comes up before that. It's almost like before the air's cleared, everything has to kind of come in the way. So it can, it can be cleared out of the way at once. It's almost like, you know when you get a broom 
and, and a shovel, a brush and shovel or something. And you, you have to clear everything all in the one place. You have to put all the rubbish in the one spot. And then you've got to put it all in the one place and clear it all out at once. It's kind of like that. So there's going to be more things that come up, more difficult people, more problems. And then you're going to clear them all out of the way in one last big bang at the end before you move forward. Yeah, big bang. It's almost like, you know, sorry about my silly analogies, but they're just coming into my head. You know, when you have, you know, when you see a fireworks display and all the fireworks are going off, you maybe you've got red ones and green ones and whatever, sparkly ones. And then just before it finishes, they all go off together. Like they kind of goes off with a bang. They put all the fireworks out all at the same time, <laughs> right before the end. And then they all go out. That's what's happening with you. So, so lots of problems, lots of confusion, lots of sparks, lots of fireworks. You might start getting to arguments with people. You might have people starting to clash with you. So if you're in the middle of this great big confusing time, just know that that's coming before the clearance, the, the clearing of everything. Um, so lots of confusion in front of you and then the air's cleared one last time and then you can see that very clear path ahead of you. Again, this person is going to come with you on this path. Absolutely beautiful person. Uh, they're going to help you. They're going to work with you. They're going to support you. Uh, fantastic person. Um, so yeah, with, with all this, with all this um, confusion that happens before you actually find that path ahead of you, um, I think that's another reminder that you're going to have to keep on clearing the air every now and again. It, it kind of builds up, you have difficult people around you, you start to kind of relax a bit and you get the wrong people around. Every so often you're going to have to have that clearing the air um, with difficult people, difficult things, maybe even clutter in your home, things like that. You're going to have to have these times in your life where you're going to have that clearing again, to clear the air again, so that you can keep on moving forward. So that that's the other thing I'm getting there. But yeah, absolutely beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Everything's coming together all at the right time. Okay, so the first card you've got for future, futured, <laughs> I'm saying futured and future and chariot at the same time. So I'm saying futured, the chariot. Yes, hopefully my mouth will work. Um, so yeah, okay, so with this chariot, um, okay, so, so look at this chariot. This is how you are as an Aries. It's like, right, I've got this ambition, I can see it in front of me, nothing's getting in my way, I'm going pushing forward, I'm pushing forward, I don't want anything in my way, I'm throwing it out the side, <laughs> and I'm going forward, so, so that's what you're like. So I think this is a little bit of a warning to you. With this connection that's coming in, um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing love between you. With this connection that's coming in, you might see this person come in or you might have them in your life. You might start talking to them or whatever again and whatever. And then you might start feeling like, actually, this is turning into love here. I don't need this in my life. I've got this ambition ahead of me. If I have love or if I have this in my life, it's going to complicate everything. And I, and I, I, I can see this ambition here and I want to go for it. I don't want anything in my way. So I think what this is telling you is, don't say no to this. This is someone who's going to be an asset to you. This is someone who's going to help you in your life. This is someone who compliments you. This is someone who knows you. They know you really, really well. Um, and you know, if, if you want to talk anything out, if you want to explain how you feel, they'll understand that. So you, this is again, this is someone you want to have with you. So don't be tempted to kind of throw them out or not want to be with them because this is someone who you want to bring with you in your life. They're coming forward with you. Um, so, um, and yeah, the other thing is they're coming in at this time for a reason because you're already eliminating a lot of negativity out of your life, negative people, negative energies. Why are they coming in now? You know, why didn't they come in before? Because they're coming in at the right time. They're coming in when you need them. So that's another thing to think about. Um, so yeah, this is a really interesting sequence actually when you look at this because you know the chariot's determined. He wants to follow his dream. This is what we're seeing. He's following his dream. He's got this star on his head. So he's like, this is my dream. This is what I want. I'm going toward the star. I'm going toward what I want. I'm so determined. But he's heading toward the nine of pentacles. 
you know, success, comfort, all of that, but she's by yourself. So, you know, if, if this is you, if you're single, if you think you're going to be by yourself in this success, you're not, you're not. Because um, you're going to have this person with you. Because, you know, look at this chariot. He's, it's like he's driving along and he's driving into the, in, into the Nine of Pentacles, but his neck stops into the lovers. <laughs> so, you know, you might think you're going to be by yourself when you're achieving this thing, but you're going to have love with you. You're going to have this person with you. And again, they're an asset to you and you need them in your life at this time. And this is a stable person in your life. This isn't someone who's going to be honest with you. You know, the, the, the Queen of Wands, they're stable, they're the Ace of Pentacles, they love you, they're the lovers. Bring this person with you if you meet with this person again. Yeah, this is, this is a fantastic reading. I really, really hope it resonates with you, Aries. Um, obviously, this is a general reading, so uh, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching.